We're back. Alright, up next, let's do the final slime switch mission. That third one, just to the right of the Murray switch. Right there. Right here. Alright, it's not much. Yeah, it's a reconnaissance thing. Ah, uh, the humble recon photo. The unsung hero of many a caper. I like taking photos. Look at some of the easiest missions. I tell you, Bentley, you designed this thing really well. The left analog stick moves where you want to look. Do you freaking do? The right analog stick lets you zoom in and out. Yes, I'll quickly tell you. Sometimes you'll need to get a better vantage point. That shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, super jump. We should actually do that. Also be moving. Thanks for getting a good shot. That much more difficult. It's okay. So long as I'm quick with the zoom, I'll be fine. Let's put it to the test. Take a picture of each of these guards without getting caught. Picture of his back. Darn it. I'm not gonna move it into location. The dude's moving. Alright. Adios, YouTube. There you go, Bentley. Some wonderful pinups for our refrigerator. They're lovely. High art. Seriously? No. But you've shown some real skill with a Monocucom's camera. Nice work. Oh, yeah. They just teach you how to use the Monocucom. I wish you could always do that and, like, get... Like, there'd be awesome if you could do, like, some side jobs for cash, like, take a specific picture, but nah. Alright, now let's, next let's do the Bentley thing, then the Murray one. Each of them start out with one ability, can get pretty except for, out well, field. Bentley and You'd Murray start out with... Bentley starts out with two abilities, Murray building? starts out with one. Sly, nah, totally not a single equal. ability. Good to hear. He gets one for free, though. Well, he gets expert. a couple for You'll free. You'll need to be handy with the bombs. No problem. Just have to hold down the triangle button and out comes You're supposed to um, do okay. the. Try dropping a bomb on that crate over there. I'm supposed to do the Sly missions for this one, which I did. Because um, Sly will get his revenge. You know how Bentley was pissing him off by. That's some quality pyrotechnics, but how are your bombs versus guards? Again, sleeping guards. You know how, like yeah, like Greek Bentley was oh, pissing oh, Sly oh, off oh, by sending guards let's out to see kill what you him. Got. Sly gets revenge. Yeah, this guy will endlessly sleep. Unlike if you just peg if you peg some with your darts. Boom. Next. Nice work. Now, how about someone awake? I just put them to sleep too. My chair's been outfitted with a top of the line sleep dart launcher. Sleep and rocket, you mean? I even linked it to my binocucom. Smart. So you just click the right analog stick to bring it up. And to shoot, I Look, the it's a freaking rocket, not a dart. Get over there and bomb it before he wakes up. Once from the second game was a dart, because it was from a crossbow. No, this is a bang. This is a freaking All right, rocket. Bentley, make this look easy. Dude, but your arms aren't your broken. Aim don't. Guards. With a zoom Bentley's arms aren't broken. Steel, he doesn't need. He can take out his own binocchio. Boom. Hey, hey. Boom. That chair is pretty sweet. Got any other gizmos in there? Oh yeah, it's my own design. The I big think Sly gets revenge. The PPP for sure. A fishing pole with a magnet? Ingenious, huh? By default, the PPP. it's linked to the L1 button. And you can rob someone with that thing? I just keep the L1 button held down, sneak up Money is guy, not magnetic. connect with the magnet, then pull back to yank out the loop. Sounds just like fishing. Try it on this guy right here. Oh, I missed. Crap, uh... That was stupid. Yeah, screw doing them while he's awake. It's harder. You have a better chance of noticing them while they're awake. Here. If you kill a dude with sh something shiny in his pocket, it'll break. And so okay. will he. He served his purpose. <laughs> I'm in 
impressed with your pickpocketing technology, but how is it against someone in motion? Allow me to demonstrate. I just hold down the L1 button, attach, and pull. Couldn't be easier. Um, just be warned, um, whereas your bombs, if an enemy hears and they'll head towards the bombs, if a sleep dart on your enemy and there's an enemy near the dude you put out, it'll, for some reason, he'll be able to tell where you are. Stupid physics. Strange physics. That physics chair of yours is a wonder. Yeah, he doesn't get revenge. so much technology into such a small space. <laughs> yeah. Amazing, isn't it? Wait, where'd he go? There's no door that way. Screw it. Okay, last up, Murray mission. This is the hazard room episode of Killing Time. Mur uh, yeah, I wish Murray could actually do that. Nah. Right, oh, don't worry, Murray, it's not glitching yet. It'll just take him a second to talk. The first one is throwing stuff. Look at it, chuck it. For some reason That's now, me. he's much more interested in, like, smashing things now. Murray's like much more of a violent fighter now. He's like, he just constantly makes things about smashing, like, eat my, eat my, eat my fist pole or something. Yeah, he's, um, more obsessed with throwing crap now. Um, you can just press circle to pick um, it up and then circle it again to throw it. But circle then X is more natural and what you're told about. You can also pick up guards when they're knocked out. Great! I knocked the small guys out with one punch! You might have to be a little more subtle with the big flashlight guards. They're pretty tough. Sneak up behind this guy and sucker punch him while he's not looking. Sucker punch is triangle. Throw him at the pillar. Gotcha! Sneak up! Well, actually, sucker punch! Grab! Throw, just means destroy. sneak up behind him. If you hit Get these guys stuck. from behind... Let's see what you got. Yeah, the rocks disappeared. It's a pretty effective science crap to happen. So I'm just gonna press that. You'll automatically knock him out as long as flashlight guards haven't seen you. But uh, you'll learn something else here. Uh, you'll learn something else in a minute. Hold on. Haha, <laughs> rock to the head. Throw a rock at that guard to knock him out, then pick him up and throw him at that pillar. Yeah, he auto he'll automatically knock out the tiny guys in one punch, head on, whether they've seen him or not. Whoosh! Yeah, if he wakes up, you, uh, fail. Well done. Okay, what's different about this next guy? He's got something shiny and blue in his pocket. So, he's just asking. That means that he has a key there. But That's no, no, right. he has money. You may not have the agility or technology to pick his pocket, but you can use your strength to mug him quite Just thoroughly. shake him. Oh, yeah. And drop his cash. I just knock him flat and pick him up. Once you've got him above your head, press the circle button to shake loose any coins he has and collect the goods. Keep at him until he's empty. The yeah, you can shake guys with circle. You'll just throw down, stuff. You'll just forget. throw rocks. You'll just throw normal. Just throw stuff. We'll just throw stuff up and circle it. Press C to shake guy. Press circle to C. Circle um to shake dudes. Yeah, screw you. Um whereas normally if you press circle it'll just throw it with the okay, with Murray, guys and it shakes the money out of one of your most powerful moves. You yeah, what I did was the juggle grab. Ready. Press triangle to knock him in the air, then press circle to grab him. Opponents. You can knock them into the air with your triangle button uppercut, and then grab them before they hit the ground by pressing the circle button. Okay, okay. Let me see if I've got it. Hit them with my triangle button uppercut, then yank them out of the air by pressing the I'm gonna have to pause real fast. There's no one's trying right? on call. You got it. For this test, you'll have to pull it off three times and throw the guards at that pillar over there. Don't waste your time trying to fight them. Just focus on the technique. Bring on the pain. Okay, see you next episode.